Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpha, and today I'm teaching you guys how to raid bases without grenades or any kind of explosives whatsoever. All you need are your two hands and the determination and patience. So without further ado, please like, comment, and subscribe, please. And uh, let's get into it. So pretty much all you guys got to do is super, super simple. Uh, this works best on three dial code locks. Uh, you go from the combinations slowly and incrementally. So right now what I'm doing is I'm going through each code lock. So from the beginning, you start at 000, and then you go to 00. And on the third dial, you go to 00, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. And then you go to the middle dial and you go zero one zero. And then you go to the third dial again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. All the way all the way coming up to uh, whatever number uh, you're on next. So it's very simple. Uh, just watch the video if it's a little confusing. Um, it, it may be confusing at first, but it's extremely simple. You just gotta count the number of times you tick the dial and uh, eventually you'll get in. Uh, like, like I said, it takes lots and lots of time to kind of get, uh, I don't know, into the feng shui of this. Uh, it takes lots and lots of time. So if you got the patience and you got the food to stand, stand around picking at somebody's lock, go for it. But um, I'm gonna be doing it right here because I ain't got nothing else better to do. So. I'll check in with you guys when I have a little bit of progress. Oh, no way. That was so fast. I, I was literally picking at this for probably, I don't know, two minutes, five minutes. I don't know. I kind of lost track of time. But I'm in this bitch. Let's go, boys. Okay, they have a second gate, but it's damaged. Does it have anything? Oh, there's crates. Uh-oh. Anything? Oh, there's barrels. We got. Oh yes, baby! I can break that bottom gate now. Let's go. So many grenades. See, guys, this is all it takes is a little bit of patience, and you guys can profit so hard, man. So hard. It takes a. It takes way longer on four-digit combination locks. I haven't even tried, but three-digit combination locks, go for it. But. I want to see if there's anything up here first before I break the bottom floor uh, wall. I have a feeling that's where all the good stuff is. Okay. Uh, not bad. Just a couple bullets and batteries. I could use a battery or two. And this is like midday too, so I'm kind of surprised there's nobody here. But all right, well, it looks like everything good is in the bottom floor, so let's go check that out real quick. I'm kind of excited. I didn't spend any explosives, any hard-earned time. All I did was just a little bit of patience and crack open that uh, code. Uh, yeah, let's get this grenade ready. Easiest raid of my life, boys. Don't kill me, please. Woo! Okay. Oh, that sounded promising. Hey, let's go, we're in. What's the code? All right, good safekeeping. See, he had a one, and now there's a little bit of, oh, okay. I'll give you guys a tip. Ooh, I needed food. I can use that. Uh, whenever you guys put your code locks in your bases to lock them up nice and safe, never start with the like any kind of uh, small digit number so try to keep the digits in between the five to nine range because if somebody decides to do this oh let's fucking go dude there's an ak with a drum mag man oh let's go but yeah keep holy shit these guys are loaded ak it's vegas oh shit okay i need that scope hold on but keep your guys's uh, code locks and high increment numbers don't make them small increment numbers it's only easier to raid when uh, it's small increment numbers like these guys that I'm raiding right now. Ooh, okay, ammo. I needed that. Oof. I'm not going to raid these guys too hard, but geez, man, this is fat profit. Let's go, boys. You guys need to check this out and do it yourselves. This is super, super worth it. Let's go. All right, so I've been looting for a little bit. That's pretty much it. Uh, I didn't check this side actually. Uh, just fuck all. Yeah, see, it's not even a door right here. It's just a weird little stand. But 
I did notice there were a couple buried uh, stashes at the front right here, so let's check that out. I'm not going to be, uh, like, destroying anything. I'm going to leave stuff for them to rebuild. I didn't take their uh, K-101 or their Vega or any of the other shotguns and stuff. I didn't need any of that. I just took a scope and this AKM with the drum mag. Um, but I am curious to see what they have in these crates or whatever they are. Oh, there's the first one. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, not bad. A little bit of medicine here and there. I needed a bandage and morphine and epinephrine. I'll take it. But yeah, like I said, I'm not going to take anything too much. Uh, I'm just going to leave a little bit here and there, and I'm going to put the lock back on their base. But you guys really should try this out, man. I can't stress it enough. Let's see what we got. Uh, not too much, honestly. Uh, but I will take the handcuffs because that's always nice useful at least blue armband okay well uh i think i'm gonna i'm gonna lock up the base now nobody's around i'm gonna get out of here but you guys need to check this out do it for yourselves i'll lock this base up and come back at a later time so they have no idea what just happened to them all right boys it's been your boy alpha um, I'm going to head out of here. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's reach that 400 uh, subscriber mark. And then uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys.